Okay, people, we're back. Um, I had the camera run for like three minutes, and it cut off during the Jurassic Park doohickey my bobber, and then I realized when I was talking and rambling, because I ramble a lot, but that's what I do. Anyways, I think we get back into it, and I just, um, my phone filled up, so I moved the video to my computer, transferred it, and then I deleted off the phone so I could run. I think I can hold like 40 minutes, so that's pretty decent. putting that out okie doke um this is mortal kombat this is uh both movies and like hell i don't think i have to tell anyone about this i'm in fact i'm gonna this it's it's so hard not to but i'm just gonna not say anything except the typical watch it but dude it's amazing Mortal Kombat is awesome. The video games are good too. I usually game solo. I always game by myself. It's not really my choice, but yeah, so games like Mortal Kombat aren't that great when you're playing solo, but eh, give or take. <clears throat> I'm taking a little bit. Matrix Reloaded. Uh, really awesome. I'm um, actually, I can't wait for the new one, which is going to be awesome, which I believe is Matrix 4, or... I don't know, because there's Reloaded, Revolution, which, Revolutions, and then there's the, just Matrix, so that's three, but some movies like to have, like, the name of the movie, like Matrix, and then they'll add a little second, like, Matrix Revolution, Matrix Reloaded, and these could just be part of, like, a re-series, like, re-something, like, in this case, because there's two of them. I mean, and then they'll do, like, Matrix 2 or something. Like, I don't know. It could be Matrix 2. You never know. Um, oh my lord. I love this movie. <laughs> like, seriously. I've seen this movie so many times. And I used to have, like, the little toys. And I had, like, the little... It was, like, the factory where the doors... They'd have, like, a couple... Like, three doors, and they'd swing. And then they'd put... they drop down on the doohickey mabobber. You guys know what I'm talking about. And they had, like the characters for like uh randall or i think that's his name the purple dude the camouflage had these two characters had basically all the main characters yeah they little guy aha i can see you you're not blending in he doesn't know that <laughs> no one tell him uh dang it separate there we go <clears throat> on to the next one monty python and the holy Grail. You are basking in greatness. This movie is awesome. And I got lucky to find the, uh... Yeah, this usually works. Two disc. So we have... This is disc two. Like, alright, I know my camera can focus. Let me just... Do that a little bit. Eh, not too bad. The camera just sucks. So I apologize for the lack of focus. My camera just sucks. It has like a... This is like the best range for it, I suppose. This movie is awesome, though. Ooh, Yankasha. But that movie pales in comparison to the stupidest movie ever made. Oh my god, I love this movie. Not stupid as in bad, but stupid as in, like, a good stupid. Oh my god. Got the amazing... The endangered species, yet... Kind of seemed incest to me, but... That's back in the day when I thought lions and tigers, like, the tigers were the females and lions were the males. Like, I'm not the only person that thought that for a certain amount of time. 20-something fucking years. Shut up, don't judge me. Yet again, if you're watching Napoleon Dynamite, you don't have room to judge me. <laughs> so, yeah, anyways. And, uh, these, I got lucky and found these relatively close. At the same goodwill, but, like, eh, within a, I think, eh, yeah, within, like, a week or two. Uh, Never Ending Story. Very good. <clears throat> Very awesome story. Love this movie. And we have... I've never seen this one. I've never seen the second one. I've only seen the first one like a handful of times. A good handful of times, too. I've seen it plenty. <clears throat> we have... <clears throat> the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Out of the Shadows. I believe this is the second one. Let me see. Um... Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that, that was the second one. 
<clears throat> and then we have uh, Jet Li the one. I love Jet Li. I love his movies. I have, you know, I have uh, the uh, what is it? Cradle to the Grave right there. And then we have the one, and I have some down there as well. I love his movies. This movie is amazing. He's uh, fighting. He has to go back in time or something like that to, to kill his evil twin. Uh, not there's not, but the thing is, there's not just. It's not really a twin because there's not just two of them. There was so many of them, like a a plethora, a cornucopia, a a shit ton of Jet Li's, and it's like um, all of the Jet Li's went around killing each other. And then every time they killed one of their clones, they got stronger. And then they, you know, that eventually becomes the pyramid um, deal. Well, kind of in the movie that literally happens. But what I mean by pyramid is like, you know, they all kill each other. And then it comes down to the last two. And they all have the power of all of the other fallen clones of themselves. This movie is hilarious. It's, it's, it has funny moments. It's not really hilarious, but... I just, sometimes I, miss, I I use words that I don't mean to use, and that was one of those moments. But this movie is amazing. It has uh, Bruce Willis, and it has... I keep forgetting what the black dude's name is. But who remembers back in the day when Bruce Willis had hair? I can't really see that for, for anything. But, yeah, phone sucks. But the fact that I'm telling you that that's Bruce Willis, and you can see the hair, just come on. That movie is great, though. And we're moving on to Pokemon. The uh, four films I found. I got this at Walmart for like five bucks. I'm like, dude, a dollar and a quarter for each one? I'm like, I am very frugal. And then my mom introduced me to Goodwill. Oh my god, I've become very cheap. I will still, I'm still not as cheap as her. I will, I will still spend, you know, the 25 bucks on a Blu-ray only if it's a movie that I, you know, like really want. Like when I showed you guys the uh, Star Wars, the... I bought The Last Jedi and Rise of Skywalker, like, at full price. So, and I don't mind doing that. <clears throat> it's always amazing that they can fit four movies onto a single disc. I remember, like, when CDs or DVDs would only hold, you know, the, like, one movie. They'd hold, like, an hour and a half, maybe. And you would have to have, like, a bunch of mini series or whatever. But we have uh, Destiny Deoxys, the movie. I have, I, yeah, I've seen this one, I just don't really remember. I recently sold Pokemon Emerald and Crystal, which, you know, which means I sold my entire Pokemon collection. I sold the, uh, the Pikachu Game Boy Advance SP that I completely built myself. Like, I went, I bought the housing unit, which was the Pikachu housing unit, um, and then I bought, like, individual pieces for the SP. I rebuilt it with the brand new screen, the really nice one. And I sold it, <clears throat> but, and I sold that with all of, with, you know, red, blue, uh, yellow, I had green as well, which you, you have to get that, um, from, like, eBay or something, you know, back way before PayPal fucked me, and then I had literally all of them, I got rid of every game except Emerald and Crystal, and I finally got rid of those, so, I still have, you know, my Pokemon Sword and Shield and stuff like that, I'm not gonna get rid of those, but I have emulators for, the Game Boy ones, so that's why I got rid of those. I'm gonna get why. We have a uh, Hoopa and the Clash of Ages. This movie is, it's as chaotic as it looks. Like it's very entertaining, especially for, you know, Pokemon movies. They don't drag on the story with a lot of, you know, mellow stuff and then they pick it up in the last 10 minutes. That movie is just really awesome. And we have Pulp Fiction, which is another really good movie, a Tarantino film. Anything he touches turns to fucking gold. <laughs> His movies rock. <clears throat> I recently picked this up. <clears throat> have Rick and Morty season one. I never have watched it. I have some gauges that are size zeros. My, my gauges are zeros, but it's weird. Those gauges, apparently they're zero, but they won't fit in my fucking ear. So, it's weird. Probably gonna have to go to a double zero just to fit those in, which is retarded. But anyways... Season 1, I saw like a little clip of uh, the scientist guy, which is uh, right there, Rick, uh, doing some, working on something, and then this girl walks walks up to him and asks, are you ready? And he's like, bitch, I was born ready. 
And as soon as I heard that, I'm like, okay, I gotta watch this show. So <laughs> that's all it took to get get me hooked on it. To or, to a point where I was like, all right, I'm gonna watch that. That looks really good. We have The Ringer. This movie is hilarious. I'm like, oh my lord. This is ridiculous. Nothing like trying to fix the Special Olympics. <clears throat> Another uh, Tom Green movie. When also I love Sean William Scott. He is hilarious. He he's actually the best stifler in my opinion. I don't really like any of the other. I don't really like American Pie movies anymore. But they're they're switching out characters so goddamn much. It's like eh, it's, it's just it's just not even funny anymore. This movie is pretty funny. Pretty ridiculous. <clears throat> this was one of my Labor Day pickups. Robocop, the 2014 one, I believe. Yes. Yes. Because I bought the one that was like the original Robocop, and I thought that one was it because they look almost identical, but until you put them next to each other. <laughs> uh, the first season of Reno 911, the original season, I'm hearing that there's, you know, they're coming out with another one. Uh, we have the second season. All of mine are uncensored as well. And I'm glad that I find them that way. <clears throat> and we have the third season with the magnificent mustache. <clears throat> Dang it, get in there. Okay, I should just switch hands. That would be, yeah, way more prudent. Of course, I'm not left, I'm not, yeah, we'll see. Um, I'm right-handed, but it feels weird to use my right hand because I've been adapting using my left hand so much. We have uh, complete seasons one and two uncensored of Robin Big. This show is hilarious. Just put this on and just let it run. Just listen to it in the background while I play some skate. And I just picked up Tony Hawk Pro Skater 1 and 2 Remaster. I'm trying to get used to that game. It's kicking me in the nuts brutally. I'm starting to really struggle. Even with all the mods, I'm starting to struggle because they only give you like two minutes. And it's like, eh. Eventually I'll get back into it. I never played 1 and 2, but yeah, I'm more of a 3 and 4 person. I love 3 and 4, and Thug, and American Wasteland, but Rush Hour, they got the collection 1, 2, and 3. Really funny movie. <clears throat> I don't have 4, I think there is 4, I don't have 4. But um, let me put these little... Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to move Moe Zeppelin. My dog got in the way. Okay, now we're down here. <clears throat> Sorry for the lack of light, but to be honest, everyone, like every single person's house, including your house, odds are, has way too much light. Everyone has too much light in their house, and we're used to it, so it doesn't seem like it. Uh, the first season of Sanford and Son, I love this show. I watched this with my dad so much. It was, I don't have the third season. I think there might be three, maybe four seasons. I'm not sure. <clears throat> for sure, I know there's a third one, because I know I'm missing one. Season two... God, this, if I had to, like, if I had to just take one, like, show from all of my stuff, like, everything, I would take Sanford and Son. Like, I would take both seasons out, like, and that's saying something, because you guys, yeah, you know what's coming up. We got Shark Tale. I love these types of movies. The, uh, whatever type of animation that they use, I just, I usually call it Pixar, even though it might not be. <laughs> But you know what I mean, like this type of animation, they do it with cars and, and whatnot. I love those types of movies. Like, I, I haven't seen this movie yet, but I'm already guessing that the jellyfish are Rastafaris. Or, uh, yeah, Rastafaris. I don't know why my fucking voice is <clears throat> sounding weird. But randomly, my voice wants, my throat wants to dry up whenever I'm doing a video. But any other time, it's so perfect, I can sing and whatever. But we got Sonic Underground, the Queen Alina Chronicles. Dudes. This movie rocked when I was a kid, and it still does. I haven't seen it yet, as of recent. Last time I seen it was, uh, what, what year? This, 1998. So this means I saw I saw it within 98 to 99, was the last time. And I remember playing Sonic on Sega Genesis. No, not not Genesis. It was on Dreamcast. So I'm not. It's not that much blasphemy. All right. Um. I'm not gonna run, I'm not gonna, you know, completely go through all of my South Park, but the first season is worthy, because we all know. I mean, I will open up season one, only because, yeah, season one started everything, and it's, I mean, come on. We got Jesus fighting Satan, that's what I opened it to show you. Like, that's the reason why I opened it, come on. And then we got, you know, Beefcake. 
So that is amazing. And then the my favorite season is actually a clone of season one, and I call it a clone because the colors are both black. And I hate when they, I hate that they did that. Like, but season one is a bit darker, but it's like straight black. And this is my this is the best season period to me, because of the obvious. I mean, I love the the dog the bounty hunter shit. I love that, but the World of Warcraft episode is my favorite amongst everyone. I mean, a lot of people love that episode over anything. And I play RuneScape so much in World of Warcraft to that episode. And I even, like, have the 10-hour loop song of Live to Win on my liked videos on YouTube, and I'll just play that. I've went through it, like, a few times completely playing RuneScape in World of Warcraft. It's amazing. <clears throat> but I have seasoned, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... 10, 11, 13, uh, hold on, and 21st, I know there's a shit ton of them, so that's why I'm not gonna go get anal with South Park, because there are so many seasons, there's like 25 or 26, you have a DC Supergirl, I have not seen this yet, but, you know, I found it at Goodwill, so I'm like, why not? <laughs> We're moving up to a really good gym that I found, and I'm so fucking happy I get to show you guys that, though. But we'll get there in a second. We have Ted, the first movie. I don't have the second one, and I do want to get it, <clears throat> definitely. We have Terminator, the first one. I have a Terminator on VHS, um, but this one is like, come on, special edition. Who doesn't like a good old special edition? Everyone likes special edition. If you don't like special edition, then you just haven't been introduced to special editions yet. Because, come on, they're addicting. And here we go, one of my... I am so proud to show this, guys. Look at this. I am basking in his glory just as you are. The Special Collector's Edition 1984 Transformers. This is... Alright, I'm 28 years old. I'm technically a millennial because I'm under 35. But I'm not, you know, I didn't grow up with watching the fake Transformers. I grew up watching the legit Transformers. And when I found this, I lost my fucking mind. This was, uh, look at this. This is a masterpiece, dude. And the, the, don't even get me started on the TV show. Like, dude. This is like, I know all of you that, that have seen this. You guys know exactly how happy I was when I saw this. Like, I found this, and then um, I ended up missing, like, the Chucky collection that I found, or my mom found. And she found, like, three really good finds for me. And I was too distracted with this, because when I found this, I'm like, dude, I haven't seen this in, like... I saw this last in, like, 97 or 96. I was a, I was just a, a little baby. I was, like, really, really young. Right, let's move on. I'm getting to... I was nerding out way too hard on that, but we get to another Jet Li movie, Unleashed. This is really good. Really good movie. I love this movie. I love a lot of my... I mean, basically every movie I have, I get because it's like a personal favorite. Like, I've seen it before, and I liked it, and I wanted to get it again, because we all like to go back to our childhood and relive those moments and shit. Speaking of which, I have not watched this yet. Viva La Bam Seasons 2 and 3. But Viva La Bam is amazing, dude. Like... I'm, I don't, I'm not a skater, I, I was, I always did BMX, and I blew my knees out playing basketball, so I, I can't really, I don't really do physical things much anymore, I just stick to gaming, and breeding, you know, ball pythons, without a paddle, this is really nice, and I go do things like collecting and whatnot, and that's kind of what started me on collecting, you know, just like, it's something I am really passionate about, and I just haven't really, I didn't really know, I just kind of stumbled into it, we got the, the ladder matches. It's a special with the ladder matches. <clears throat> and I've watched this entire thing. It's amazing. <clears throat> Back when WWE was a, was really good. And, oh yes. I don't have to say anything about this. I really don't. And I'm not going to. If you're thinking, oh, aren't you going to tell me I should watch it? No. Because if you're, if you're still thinking, should I watch this? Oh, you need to get your ass kicked. I'm just kidding. This is awesome. Oh, yes. We have the X-Men collection. I'm very proud of this as well. This is a very nice collection. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We have... 
We have the uh, X-Men, these are with us, uh, one, disc one, two. Then we have X2, and as X2 has two discs as well, and we have the little, this has everything in it, which I'm very happy that it came with everything. Which makes, you know, whenever you find something that's complete, it makes it that much more exciting. Yeah. We're up at 20 minutes, we gotta keep going. And I have a special edition of X-Men 1. Let's move that along. Yeah. And we have X-Men 2 United, because I found these before I found the collector's edition. I just picked it up because I found most of these at Goodwill and Pawn Shop, so they're, you can't really pass up, you know. <clears throat> we are done with the regular DVDs. Holy Jesus. Okay. <clears throat> now, we're going to move to the VHSs before the Blu-rays, because that would make more sense. <clears throat> We have, oh, we are cramped up in here, but it's okie dokie. We're good. We have The Godfather. Got uh, the Jurassic Park, the gold one, like I showed you the DVD earlier. That's the VHS version. Uh, this was the other, oh, this is uh, The Lost World. This is uh, very nice. Jurassic Park. So I have the double one of that, too. I'm going <clears> to <throat> try to go through these as fast as I can. Um, aside from some macaroni and cheese shells, because the shells are the bomb, the elbow noodles suck. Got Stewie Little 2, got Rugrats, got Digimon, uh, Space Jam, we got uh, <coughs> Pokemon, uh, the first movie. This one is actually, yeah, this one is the first movie, but I picked up, whenever I found this one, I was like, um, I just opened it just because I was at a Goodwill and you never know, and this one is Mewtwo Returns, so I wrote Mewtwo Returns. And I found this one at that same Goodwill. The Jonto Journeys. It is a really awesome one. I love it. Haven't seen it yet, but it looks awesome. I love Gen 2. Uh, we have number 3. I still have to get a bunch of these because I'm still missing a lot. Especially 2000. And Jirashi Wishmaker. <clears throat> but most of my movies are like movies that people my age typically would not enjoy. <laughs> but... I mean, I don't really like people my age, to be honest. I just don't get along with them. Alright, let's move to... This is one of my little loose ones, uh, Bad Boys 2. I'm only, I only kept it because it's my it, this like this was my dad's and he owned it and he passed away, so I keep it because sentimental. And I don't have a sleeve for it, so I just put it on top of things like, yeah. Um, we have Alien. I have... Um, let me just... We have Aliens. This is the second one. Aliens 3. Is the third one? Yeah. This is the first like collection video I've ever done, so I am definitely struggling, but I appreciate you hanging in there. We have All About the Measurement. Let me just move through this kind of quick. We have uh, Anaconda, uh, Austin Powers, the first one, and then the, the Spy Who Shagged Me, Austin Powers, and then we have Austin Powers Gold Member. Let me move the bad boys over. Then I have <clears throat> my uh, ultimate collection. I don't have the four, the collection of four movies, which is uh, the Batman and Robin plus this and the DVDs. I really do want it, but I don't have it. And you have Batman Forever, Batman Returns, and Batman. The, yeah. <clears throat> However, dang it, get up in there. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> then we have Beverly Hills Cop. Beverly Hills Cop 2 is the first blade. I told you I had it. <laughs> okay, and we have uh, Bruce Lee Game of Death. Oh, so I have two movies. This was also my dad's, and I just put a name on it. Chasing Amy. It's another uh, Kevin Smith movie. Con Air. Love that movie. The Crow. This is just the VHS of the movie. We have another Godfather. <laughs> a 007 Goldeneye. Like, this one's worthy of taking out and showing you. Remember the the N64 game of this? Oh my lord. Such a good game and such a good movie. <clears throat> Let me move my cheese shells over. Okay, we got The Green Mile. Love that movie. That movie's really good. Halloween, the first one. <clears throat> which, this I should, you know, put these in my horror collection, but we'll get to that in a second. Probably in part three. Uh, Halloween, uh, this little doohickey my bobber. 
I'm only gonna pull out the movies that I actually, you know, are important to me. This is the first movie as well, just like that one, but they, uh, it's a different, uh, cover. And I kind of, I kind of liked that when I picked it up. I was like, okay, I'll get it. And VHSs are only like 79 cents, 80 cents. Uh, H2O. Just give me a second. Let me, I got to put Anaconda back in the case. <clears throat> Okie doke. I have a Harry Potter, one. Uh, Sorcerer Stone, two. Chamber of Secrets and three. Prisoner of Azkaban. Uh, How High, uh, Jackie Chan, The Legend of the Drunken Master. Uh, that is that movie is amazing. You like kung fu movies? If you like funny ones, like that kung fu movie that's like it's I don't know what the name of I can't remember kung fu whatever. That movie isn't funny. This movie is hilarious. I love this movie. Uh, J Jurassic Park three. <coughs> we have uh, Lonesome Dove Collection. I mean, who doesn't love a good fucking western? And then we have uh, Lord of the Rings. Uh, the Fellowship of the Rings right here. Two Towers, I mean, Fellowship here, yeah. Two Towers here, yeah. and then The Return of the King right here. Yeah. And then we have the first Matrix right there. Men in Black with the holographic doohickey my bobber. Yeah. Sorry, Monster Rancher. That is the problem with Pixie. I have Mouse Hunt, that's a really good movie. A Nightmare on Elm Street, this movie's really hilarious, but Nightmare on Elm Street, and then Nightmare on Elm Street Part 2. Nutty Professor, Pulp Fiction, and then there's some Scarface. Got Scarface. I just sold this, my Scarface game on Xbox as well. Got Scream 1, Scream 2, Scream 3. I forgot I had those because they're just sitting back here behind Pokemon. Let me move these. Oh, I got Set It Off, Shawshank Redemption, a Sling Blade. I lo all these movies you need to watch. Like, all of these are going to be classics, hands down. Get South Park, the movie. Got uh, the Terminator collection. It's Terminator 1 and Terminator 2. And then this one is another one that's kind of worthy to pull out. But it's too, it's in a tight space. But it is the 19, it's the sequel to Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It's the Texas Chainsaw Massacre Part 2. I'm just a. I can't get it. <laughs> I'm gonna cry about it. I will struggle. Yes! Okay. I just want to show you. I really wanted to show you guys. But it is very, very old.